Hello there, my guitar enthusiast friends. How are you? I am Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio, and welcome to another edition of Pete Thorne's Top UAD2 Guitar Tones, where I craft guitar sounds entirely from UAD2 plugins. So this is the third video in this series, and I called this one Classic Tone. Um, I just used uh, one uh, very straight-ahead amp sound uh, in that song at the beginning of the video, and I tracked two guitar parts with it, so this video is going to be short and sweet, but this is a really important tone to me because um, this is kind of my, uh, what I consider to be my home base guitar sound, really. A British amp, just on the edge of overdrive, and uh, you know, you can roll your volume down on your guitar and uh, it'll clean up, but when you hit it hard and the volume's up on 10, you get a good amount of overdrive and just a little bit of, of compression and whatnot, so it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, but like I say, hit the middle position, roll the volume down to maybe six. It's the kind of guitar sound you could play a whole gig on. You know, you hit it with an overdrive pedal for leads, you know, turn off the overdrive, play rhythm with the dirty tone. If you need to get clean, you just roll your volume down a bit. So, meat and potatoes kind of guitar sound for me. Okay, so let's break down the tone and look at the plugins I'm using. Okay, so as I was saying, I was going for an extremely meat and potatoes rock and roll guitar tone in this video, just real basic. So to that end, I didn't use a lot of plugins or anything, just a couple plugins I'm going to go over now. So first up is the Engel E765RT amp modeling plugin. It's a two channel amp modeler. I know I said I go for a, a British tone for this uh, straight up kind of sound, and Engel's a German company, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they were modeling a uh, English kind of stack sound with this amp modeling plugin. It just really sounds like that to me. So I'm using the clean channel, cranked up pretty good. You can see the settings on your screen there, because uh, it'll overdrive nicely when turned up. And it's just got that great late 60s, early 70s kind of uh, uh, awesome British stack sound. <laughs> Just really cool. Um, so you can also uh, hit the second channel here uh, for a bit more gain and whatnot if you want to play a solo, uh, just like you would on an amp. Um, just click it over to channel two. <laughs> Just hit the channel switch, back over to channel one. Pretty cool. Um, so I also use the uh, the built-in delay uh, in the E765 here to just get a little bit of slap back at about 120 milliseconds. So if I turn that on, there we go. You can hear a bit of slap back delay. So that's really nice. They give you a, a slap in there. It's uh, just a nice added feature. There's a noise gate as well that I am actually using just a little bit. Uh, and the cab model I, I chose is what I assume is a 412 of some sort. And it says 421 and 57S. So I think they mic'd with a uh, Sennheiser 421 and Shure SM57, which is a classic combination. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, EQ plugin I use now, uh, which is the uh, Neve 1073. Of course, a fantastic classic. Um, I've actually got it enabled right now. If I turn it off, you're gonna hear the tone just get a little bit darker. And uh, uh, I think I, yeah, I took out a little bit of low mids as well uh, to just uh, sort of make the tone a little bit clearer. So here's the sound without the Neve EQ. <laughs> and turning on the 1073. So I just added a little bit of top end and uh, dumped a little bit down around, oh, somewhere around 300 hertz or something like that to just clarify things a little bit. And that's it. This is really, you know, uh, a great straight up rock and roll guitar sound that I could uh, uh, sit and kind of write riffs with all day and feel real comfortable. It's just a lot of fun to play through. Thanks for watching the third video in my top UAD2 guitar tone series. Be sure to go to the Universal Audio website uh, for more information on all the Apollo interfaces and all the great UAD2 plugins. And uh, there's a ton of great blogs and links to videos and all kinds of stuff there for the recording enthusiast musician. So uh, be sure and go check it out. All right, and I'll see you real soon for some more UAD2 guitar tones. I am Pete Thorne. Take care.